Okay, so here we are ready to bottle the ginger beer. We've got five one litre bottles here ready, um, a bit of sugar which we're going to put in the bottles um, by some method or another. And the point of putting the sugar into the bottles, I'm going to put a, a dessert spoon, one of these full of sugar into each of these bottles. And hopefully by using what's left of the yeast, um, that should give us some good carbonation in these bottles. And I'll put them in the fridge once they've got good and carbonated so that we keep some of the sweetness as well. Uh, this is the ginger beer. Uh, the plan had been for it to brew for one week. Um, for one reason or another, it's been closer to three weeks, which uh, should either mean that it's pretty strong or that it's pretty rancid. Uh, inside we can still see there's some carbonation going on, there's still some bubbles rising up which hopefully means that there's enough yeast left to, um, to give us that secondary fermentation inside these bottles uh, and, make the, uh, and make the final ginger beer fizzy. Um, I'll probably give it a little taste as well um, if there's any leftover when we're siphoning them into these bottles. We've got five one litre bottles, which I'm not gonna quite fill. And this is a five litre jug. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit of air space in each one um, so that they don't explode, hopefully. Uh, this is the tube here that I'm going to use um, for the siphoning. So the first thing I'll do is um, get the sugar into the bottles. Okay, so uh, each of the bottles is going to get one dessert spoon full of sugar in them. So we'll stick that in there now. I don't have a funnel, so this is the best way I could come up with of doing this. It's probably going to be a bit of a disaster. Excellent, and we'll just do the other four like that. So we've got all of the sugar in there, uh, and now we need to siphon the the ginger beer into the into the bottles. What I was going to do was use the tube and siphon it directly into the bottles, but what I think I'm actually going to do is run it through a sieve first, just in case any of the the little bits that we've got in there end up in it. So I'll put it through the sieve into here, and then I'm going to pour it from there into each of the bottles, and I think that way will work a little bit better, so I'll get that set up now. Well, couldn't actually find a sieve, so we're going to have to go back to plan A. So first of all, let's take the stopper off and have a smell. It smells very beery in there. Okay, so the bottling turned out to be a messier procedure than I thought, so I didn't end up filming all of it, but um, I did manage to run it through the sieve in the end, so um, I've managed to get it without any of the little bits in it that I was worried about. Uh, this is the drained bottle in the end, uh, with the tube still in it. Uh, and I reckon we've got about four and a half litres of ginger beer there. Um, uh, and I've managed to Put aside a little bit here so that I can have a taste of it. Um, I did have a bit of a taste of it when I was siphoning it, um, but I'll have a drink now. Yeah, it's not as gingery as I hoped it would be. Um, I think next time I'll probably grate the ginger instead of chopping it like that to release a bit more of the flavour. Um, and it tastes quite dry. There's no none of the sugars left in there. Um, but you can definitely taste the alcohol in there. It tastes more like a wine, really, than um, than a beer or ginger beer. But that's okay. 
Um, so what I've done now is I put an extra teaspoonful of sugar into all of these bottles because as I said, as I was siphoning it, I tasted it and it didn't taste as sweet as I would like it to be. I've sealed all these bottles up. I'll give them a shake to make sure all that sugar's dissolved in them so that the yeast can get to it. So it can do its secondary fermentation uh, and hopefully um, put some CO2 into these so that they're nice and fizzy. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll check them every couple of days, see they're squashy now. When they get really hard, I'll let a little bit of gas out of them. Um, and maybe in three or four days, um, we can have a first taste test of them. Um, so that's it for now. That's all for tonight. And um, I look forward to the next video.